Today we're going to go over the basic features and functions of your Polycom desk phone. This includes buttons and operation of the phone, how to place a call, answer a call, end a call, hold and resume calls, transfer a call, forward calls, the directory, hold a conference call, access voicemail, and how to enable and disable do not disturb mode. You'll see on the phone that there is a voicemail button and a call history button in the top left hand corner for touchscreen phones. For non touchscreen phones, there is a recorder button, and to get to the call history, you will press home, scroll down to directories, and recent calls. To the right, there is a small light which will illuminate when you have a new voicemail. Below that, you will see a physical home button which will take you to the home screen on the phone where you can access the main menu. Along the bottom of the screen there's a row of software buttons that will change depending on what you're doing. Back on the right hand side of the device you'll see some more physical buttons. A headset button, a speakerphone button, and a mute button. And at the bottom of the phone, below the number keys, there are volume control buttons. There are a few ways you can place a call. You first will dial the number, then pick up the handset or press the speaker button, depending on your desired method of audio. You can dial the extension in the same manner. For local calls, you do not need to dial 435 first, and for long distance calls, you will not need to dial a 1. On some old phone systems, you had to dial a digit before the number for external calls, 9 for example. That is no longer necessary unless otherwise directed by a technician. You can also initiate a call by selecting a contact from the recent calls or by selecting a contact from the contact directory. You can answer a call by picking up the handset, pressing the speaker button, or pressing the headset button. You can end a call by placing the handset in the cradle. If the call is on your headset or speakerphone, you can end by pressing the appropriate button. It's important to note that you can only end an active call. If you have a call on hold, you must resume the call before ending it. There are multiple ways that you can place a call on hold. To place a call on hold so that only you can answer it, you will press the on-screen hold button and then press resume when you want to resume that call. If you wish to place the call on hold so that someone else in the department can answer it, you will press your home button and then select the line or call park that you wish to place it in. To pick up that call, you will first select the line and then pick up the handset. You can transfer a call to any contact. There are two types of transfers, blind or consultative. To transfer a call, first press the transfer key. By default, the transfer will be consultative. This will keep the current call on hold and give you a chance to speak with the contact you are transferring the call to. If you wish to transfer the call right away, press the blind button, then the number, followed by send. To use the speed dial buttons programmed on the screen of your phone, you will press transfer, then select the type of transfer, then select the lines button, followed by the contact you wish to transfer to. If you have selective consultative transfer, tap the transfer button to complete the transfer. There are three ways to forward any incoming calls to your phone. To forward calls, you will select forward, followed by the type. Always means that this phone will never ring, it will forward to the contact that you tell it. No answer gives you the option to forward to a contact after a certain number of rings. That is your choice. And busy means this phone will be forward when you are in a call. By going to home, directories, contact directory, you can see all the extensions with associated name in your business group. To find the extension needed, search by first or last name, or simply scroll through the list. You can add up to two contacts to a call to initiate a three-way conference call. When you're on the line with a contact and wish to add another, tap the more, followed by the conference button, 
type in the extension that you wish to add. Once the new contact answers, you may tap conference to add them to the previous call. This will join the three calls together. If you're on a conference call and wish to speak separately with one of the contacts, you can press the split button to separate the calls and handle them individually. You will be taken to a screen where you can see both calls. One will be automatically placed on hold and you can tap the call to access the resume button. You may also use this screen to end either call, but note that the call must be resumed before it can be ended. You can also rejoin the calls in the same manner. When you have a new voicemail message, the red message indicator light will blink. To listen to your messages, tap the voicemail button, message center, and connect. If this is your first time setting up your voicemail, the default pin is 135135 followed by the pound sign. When you are setting up your voicemail for the first time, you will then be prompted to change your pin to a six digit number of your choice. Once logged into voicemail, follow the voice prompts to access your messages or work with your greeting. If you have forgotten your PIN or your voicemail becomes disabled due to failed login attempts, contact support for further assistance. The Do Not Disturb mode will silence your ringer. If your phone is part of a calling tree, then this will silence incoming calls to that group as well. So be careful with this function. To turn this setting on or off, press the Do Not Disturb button located on the bottom of the phone screen. You will now see the red icon in the top left corner of your screen. To disable this feature, repeat the steps used to enable it. If you are frequently missing calls, remember to check whether or not the Do Not Disturb feature is enabled. If you are having issues with your phone or changes have been made to your speed dial buttons, a reboot may be needed. To reboot your phone, hold down 130 at the same time, wait for the phone to beep, and then you can release and wait for the phone to boot up. 